Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a shoe haul, which I don't think I've ever done a shoe haul on my channel. And I'm gonna make it a try on so you guys can see how the shoes look and everything. I recently picked up four pairs of shoes and then I have two sneakers that I picked up a while ago but I still wanted to show you guys because I've only shown you, I think, on Snapchat, if I'm not mistaken. I am planning on styling a lot of these shoes either in a fall outfits kind of video on here on my channel or on my Instagram. So just make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're curious on seeing how I would style them. I thought this would be a perfect transitional video, kind of going from summer to fall, since fall technically starts next week. That way I don't jump directly into like fall makeup tutorial and just kind of throw it at you guys it's a little bit like okay here are some things i'm bringing into my closet for the fall season so let's go ahead and just jump right into it so the first pair of shoes i have here are these from lola chutique most of the shoes that i got are from lola chutique i specifically went to downtown la to go to Lola Chutique because they have a lot of not only trendy shoes but a lot of staple shoes that I feel like would be good to have in your closet. So the first pair I got are these nude heels and surprisingly I don't have a pair of these. I used to have some but I didn't like the way that they fit and they were a little bit different than this and I wanted to get some of these because these would be perfect for fall but all year round they're just nude basic open toe i don't even know what these are called they're not pumps but they're not like sandals obviously but this is the style and the style is tisha nude and i got them in a size eight these were 30.99 not bad if you were to get a high-end version obviously you would pay a lot more and i've never experienced a broken heel or a broken ankle from purchasing shoes at Lola Chutique. They're decent quality. They don't break on me. I don't break an ankle, so we're all good. But yeah, I just got these. I already can see myself styling these shoes with so many different kinds of outfits, dressy, casual, really anything. So yeah, just got these ones. Another pair of staple shoes that I got, and I specifically went down there to get these, but I walked out with three other pairs. They're these heel, knee length knee high i should say they're above the knee boots i had a pair of these but let's just say i had to throw them away because of a really fun night so <laughs> i had to get myself another pair these are staple for fall winter night out like you just i feel like need a pair of these i hate saying need because you don't need them but if you're somebody who's very fashion forward and you want kind of staple pieces in your closet i feel like this would be one of those things that you definitely should have i was going to invest in a high-end pair of these but i was kind of like do i really 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 need to spend this money on this pair of boots right at the second like i can get an affordable version i actually got four pairs of shoes for the price that i was going to get just that one pair of boots i was like I know I can find these somewhere else. Of course, the quality is not gonna be the same, but it's decent quality and it'll do for now. And the style of these is Bonnie, and they were $39.99. Since we're already on the topic of knee-high black heel boots, I have another pair here. I know they look very similar, but they're not the same. So this has a chunky heel, as you can see here. These are a lot more comfortable and I probably would last in these a little bit longer. They still have the pointy toe here, which I like. And these ones go above the knee as well, but they're not tight. These have a little flap in the back. So they're loose at the top. They flare out, which I like. It gives me more of that casual look. And again, these are just really good staple boots to have. A chunky heel, a thin heel. Thin heel would be more for a glam night out, at least for me. These would be a little bit more casual. Both can be dressed up or dressed down. But these are in the style of Madam, and they were $44.99. And I just got them as well in black, just to be on the safe side. You can wear them with anything. And I didn't really like the other colors that they had there for the boots, because they had, I think they had a beige color, but it was more of a beige brown, and I was looking for a light beige. I don't think they had them in gray, so I was like, let me just stick to the basics, something I know I'm gonna wear multiple times for a few years even so decided to get these ones the next pair of boots that i have here are very different for me 
I usually stick to very basic stuff, as you guys can see from the last two pairs of shoes that I showed you guys. Black, simple shoes. But these, I Snapchatted them and I was wondering like, are these too much? What do you guys think? A lot of you guys said, yes, get them. A few of you guys said no, but majority of people were like, yeah, try it. It's something different, like step out of your comfort zone. You can definitely style them in a really cute way without making them look like they're too much. And I've never had a pair of shoes like this. So I was like, let me just try it. You never know. Let's, let's step out of the box a little bit. So there are these shoes right here. I've never owned a pair of shoes like this with snake skin well this is faux snake skin obviously they look really out there but they're cute at the same time i kind of already have an idea of how i want to style these i was stuck between getting these ones or getting some like this that had the snake skin print but i was like let me just let me just go all out try something different so i got these ones and i'm kind of excited to see how they look on me like how i'm able to style them so make sure to follow me on my social media that way you guys can see how i do style them or maybe i'll do a video on here as well but yeah i like them they're different for me at least and i'm excited to see how i'm able to style them um how much were these price is not on there i'm gonna list it down below or actually i'll look up the price right now but the style is bonnie and i got these in a size eight and a half because they did fit a little tiny bit tight actually no these are not called bonnie the style that are on the boxes are not the styles that they refer to so these are actually the style guilt trip and they're the color gray and these go for 29.99 since the actual styles that they refer to don't go with the styles that are on the box i'm gonna list all of the shoes from little chutique down below well all the shoes that i show you guys i'll list them down below as well as the name the style the price that way it's a lot easier because apparently the style on the box is not the styles so moving along the next two pairs that i have here they're both the same style the same type of shoe just in a different color it was one of those situations i like the style so i was like let me get another color of the same style the first ones here are black these are the nike presto fly women's size eight and i got these for myself i've already wore them which is why they look a little bit janky but i got them because i'm taking a workout class and my little reward for that was getting myself a new pair of workout shoes so these are very comfortable I wear these to work out. I wear them on a regular basis. I got them in all black because I don't have an all black pair of sneakers. I have black and gray, I have black and white, but I don't have all black. Again, these go with everything. I love wearing black as you guys can see. But yeah, these are really comfortable. I was originally trying to get the ones that have the cage right here, but I couldn't find them. So I was like, let me just get these. These will do. They're just going to be for working out. I was just going to settle with these. And I was like, cool. I got my pair of all black shoes. But I saw these ones and I was like, okay, I need these in my life. They're a nude pair of the same shoes. You can probably see why I needed these in my life. They're just all nude. And it's so hard to find a nude pair of sneakers nowadays. They're sold out everywhere. I was going to get the nude pair of Adidas NMDs and they sold out so fast. And now they're like triple the price if you try to buy them anywhere else. I'm like, nope, I'll just settle for another pair of shoes. So I got these ones right here and they're not only comfortable, they're cute too. They go with everything because they're a solid color. And I posted both of these again on my snapchat and you guys were going crazy asking what kind of color this was these are ooh, these are the color oatmeal that's what they refer the color as and i have already wore these two just once which is why they're a little bit dirty but yeah these are so comfortable they are so cute they go with everything so if you're looking for a new pair of sneakers i would definitely try these and i think they have the black ones in kid sizes so they'll be a little bit cheaper if you do fit into a kid size. I don't I don't know if they have these in a kid size. I would double check online. I got mine at finish line and I believe they were $69.99, $79.99. They were $69.99 to $89.99, somewhere around there. So 
kind of pricey, very pricey, but their Nikes, of course, are gonna be a little bit pricey. But if you can find them in kids sizes, they are a lot cheaper. And that's it, those are all the shoes that I've picked up recently. Recently, I'm sure I'm gonna run into a few more styles that I like, but those are all the styles I have so far for the fall season. If you enjoyed this kind of casual, let me show you what I got kind of video, then give it a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.